So today we're going to go over hover movement, which the code is going to be very similar to what we've seen already, but we're going to go over a couple new things. Uh, obviously, I am not moving forward at a constant rate. I'm controlling going forward and backwards. And I added collisions with shapes in the world. And then also we'll cover how to move the ship direction with the mouse. So for starters, looking at this script, it's actually very similar to my last video, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Uh, most of the code is honestly exactly the same, with the speed being a little bit different. Uh, but we still have the movement guide, we have the rotation happening exactly the same way, keeping it from doing a barrel roll, um, making the camera le uh, not be too shaky when you roll your ship to the side. Now one of the big differences that we're going to do to help us have collisions is if you use the move and slide, instead of just translating, you can have collisions with the world around you. Uh, so you keep the information in a vector 3 of how you're going to move. So we'll collect the velocity uh, by getting the basis of the forward and back multiplied by speed and the strafing to the side. Again, we had that problem of if we strafe and roll, I'd be going down into the side. And so that's what I'm using that movement guide for again. And I just divided it by two just because it looked better. Uh, just play around with the amount of speed that you want. You could bring delta in here and adjust your speed for that too. It'd probably be better, but I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Uh, like I said, this is the same code as before. And getting down here, I put the mouse clicking in the unhandled input function. And the reason for that is if you put it in the unhandled input then if you have, say, UI or buttons that you want to press during the game, you don't want to be pressing the button and then having the steering work. Or you don't want to move the airplane while you're clicking buttons. You want to have that separate. So if you put it in the unhandled input, which is a built-in function in Godot, if you click a button, it will absorb that input, and it will not pass it on to the unhandled input. But if you click onto the screen and nothing happens, then it goes to this function, which we will check the motion. And then also, I like to click, at least in this instance, we're just, just for this example, you'll have to move the mouse and click the steer button which I set in the project settings. And this built-in uh, property called relative just measures how far the mouse has moved in the x direction or in the y direction since the last frame. And you'll just have to multiply it by a number to see what type of feel you want and how far you need to drag, because you don't want to go too fast, but you also don't want to have to be clicking and pulling multiple times to get what you want. So, um, another thing that I did, though, to get the collision, for right now, we're just going to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, but last time when we made this, I had you make a tri-mesh collision sibling. And I was having difficulty having the tri-mesh actually collide even with just primitives. I need to do a little bit more research, but the basic gist that I have right now of what is the problem is tri-meshes are just more confusing. And so I just changed it to a convex collision. So I just deleted that node and then created a convex collision sibling. You'll be able to see the difference pretty quickly. Um, instead of the collision shape going in and being exactly with the ship, it just makes simple shapes to enclose the whole thing, but it includes these gaps in between. And I don't think that's going to be a problem for the games that I'm going to be making. So for right now, I'm just going to keep it simple. If you have more information about this, please educate me in the comments. 
And if you use that and you use the move and slide version of the code, you should be able to collide with these are static bodies uh, in the in the world.